Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's right, we're back. <laughs> Last episode, guys, we set up the warden in here. And my goodness, is this guy crazy. Yeah, it's... I let it go for a little bit, and we just had too many wardens in there. But yeah, we're getting... We have 1.6 thousand of the blue heart, which... Reminder, it's the highest tier heart that you can get other than the purple one, but the purple one you combine with the totem. Uh, but yeah, that also reminds me of one more thing I want to go ahead and do. So we need, yes, the evoker. This is the one I was looking for. Perfect. Okay. So um, we're going to grab a nether star um, here. We're going to grab a chorus fruit. So no AI. We're going to grab a comparator. And the cool thing is, is once we hit it with the comparator, we, so we'll go, we'll go like this, it's off. So like we can do all of these upgrades while it's here and it won't be turned on. We don't have to worry about it, them spawning in, but these are gonna give us totems of undying on command. So we're gonna have so many of these, ah, wait, the evoker, let's see, recipe, actually no, are here. So just emeralds and the totem. So all we need to do is get a spot for the totem, which, which we do have. So we can just put this here. I need to find a way to get rid of this guy. Um, I think I just unlock it, if I'm not mistaken, and then I can take it out. I think I've done this before. So unlock and then relock. Yep, okay, perfect, so that's good. We now have another slot available, which is awesome. So yes, let's get this guy in there. Um, so we're gonna wanna get some sugar on it. Wow, okay, that was already kind of maxed out. I forget, these spawn in with a random amount of upgrades already built into them. And then we need the spider eye. So this will give us a good spawn count. We need a couple gas tiers. Yep. So this will give us max entities. Uh, spawn range, are keeping the same. Activation range, are keeping the same. Um, let's get a soul fire lamp, lantern. So now it ignores light. Um, yeah, so ignores players, redstone control, ignores light, no AI. It's perfect. So we're going to do this, pick it up, and then we're going to place it in here. And we can just place them like this. And so now if I turn this one on, yep, we have evokers coming in. And we are getting totems of undying, am I right? Oh, yeah. And that's also another emerald source. So we can actually let these guys run for a bit because I think it's just evokers. What else? The skeletons are spawning in. Yeah, it's like perfect. That's not going to be a lot of mobs. So yeah, we can let that run for a while. And then we should see totems down here. Where did they go? Oh my goodness. We're up to, oh, look at how fast the totems of undying are going. We are literally invincible, everyone. Can we make a, okay, we can make statues out of it. We're definitely going to make that illager tome. Okay. Okay, we'll worry about that later. That's taken care of. We need to get into this. So the Supremium chest plate can be upgraded one more time, but we need all of the essence for it. And we do have fire and water already for it, which is good. We're going to do this twice. So that means that we only need to get earth, which we get with this stuff. We just need grass. And to get grass, we get shears, and we go punch some grass. Right? Okay. So we got six of those. Ah, we should have only got four. That's okay. So here from the seeds and the seeds shebang one two three four perfect seed here we go and that just takes inferium and boom we have ourselves our earth seeds which is awesome uh, and so now we're gonna make the air seeds which we have everything for seed that was a prosperity seed yep and then just inferior. Boom, air seeds, cool. All right, and then up here, right next to stuff we already have, we're gonna put the earth seeds and the air seeds in, and these guys are off to the races. So we can go ahead and 
kind of do this. And as you can see, we're getting air, we're getting earth, we're getting water, we're getting fire. Perfect. Okay. So those guys are rocking and rolling. So we don't need to worry about those. Um, let's get those out of here. We need to get an essence of vessel. Soul stone. How do we get this? Cobbled soul stone. Okay. We got a, a decent amount of it. Um, furnace. Cool. All right. So we got all the soul stone there. Uh, I think we need four of these. And then I think, okay, we need orange dye. Wait a sec, what spike did I just do? That was a Wilden spike. Oh no, we shouldn't have done that. Oh no, okay. Oh man, that's a bummer. The reason why that's a bummer is we need that to summon a boss later on, so it means I'm going to have to try to find another one. But that's okay. Um, here we go. We got some of these. I believe we only need four total, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we got four of those. Oh, we do need a fifth. Oh, we actually got the perfect amount. Okay, so let's see if we place this. I'm asleep. Okay, so I want to see if we can get this kind of close to our other one. Cool. Okay, yeah, we can actually move this guy over a couple. Yeah, we're going to move it here. All right, and I assume it's going to be similar. So we're going to put a redstone block down here so that we just never need to worry about uh, crafting those. Okay. So 40 essence in there, 40 essence in there. Oh man, okay. That's gonna take a lot. And then what do we need to actually upgrade it? I didn't even pay attention to that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we need two of these guys. And the awakened essence. Oh, supremium. Oh, what? That's easy. Okay. So let's get this thing rocking and rolling yeah we're down to 27 hours that's okay i want it to be over a stack perfect perfect all right so now we got a stack of these guys that we're gonna put in uh it's got that and then we got those perfect okay so we need to make an awakened block um okay so we got a total of six of these guys i don't know if that's quite gonna be enough we need to make this. This is our goal. Um, so 10, 10, 10. And then we need dropped by the Wither and Ender Dragon. Wait, what? Go here. Killed with an essence weapon. Enchanted with the mystical enchantment. Uh, okay. Um, so we need to work on that then um i mean the axe has got a decent amount i could get the ender dragon down or we could just try with a wither skeleton we even have any soul sand we're out of soul sand okay okay almost made a mistake there this is not a mystical agriculture weapon um i think we need to go ahead and make the sword, I believe there's one. Yeah. Okay, so the Supreme one gives us 24 hearts. So this is what we're gonna work on today. Um, we're out of prosperity shards. Frick. <laughs> All right, so Fortune 5 is absolutely crazy. Check this out. Next time I find some prosperity, I've got a bunch of prosperity shards now. Let's see if I can find some here real quick and show you guys. Uh, yeah, if you have the ability to kind of work your way up to Fortune 5, I highly recommend it. Uh, you do that with just combining it in a simple anvil. Um, but let's see here. We got to have some here soon. Aha, here we go. So 16, that's just one, 36. So we got over 16 from that one because 16 plus 16 is 32. I think we actually got 20 from just one block, which is crazy good. 
So yeah, I'm gonna be here for a little bit, gonna fill up my inventory and I'll be right back. Okay, so with this massive amount of prosperity shards now, we can go ahead and start working on this guy here. Uh, so I figured we'll just do this. There we go. Okay, so prosperity shards, we'll do a stack. Um, and then here, we'll get a couple of these guys. Okay. So here, one, two, and here, one, two, and that gives us the Supreme or the Inferium Sword. And then we go here, one, two, here, one, two, and then the Pedutium Sword. Okay, so tier three. Okay, so tier three sword, bam, tier four. Bam, and then tier five. Let's make one of those. So one, two, and then three, four. Bam. So supremium. Here we go. And then we need to enchant it. We got plenty of levels. All right. So let's see what we get. Uh, we're starting with an attack damage of twenty-four, and we need the mystical enchantment thing. Mystical, and, and there we go, enlightenment. Perfect, that's what we needed. Okay, and then I think we also have a couple of swords in here. I'm gonna take the enchantments off of those. Uh, so yeah, we only need that. We don't need those right now. Those, put that back. Okay, so let's see here, sword. I'll show you guys how this works. Mending, sweeping edge. Okay, we're definitely taking that one. Sharpness five and capturing, okay. And we need a unbreaking one. Actually, this is unbreaking. We don't need that. I just remembered. Cool. So we take these, throw them in here, and it's going to pull the enchantments off. So we should have sharpness five. Perfect. Capturing two. Perfect. And knockback two. All right. And we're going to put this in here. We're going to grab the mending off of it. That sweeping edge. We're going to keep that. Soul Reaper. Bane of Arthropods, that's trash, and then mending. Good, okay. So I would normally do it with, this, with the applier, but I found that this guy actually allows us to do it. Oh, that's right, it's unbreaking, so I don't need to put mending on it. Okay, so now we have 27 0.5 hearts of damage that we can do. Perfect. And it's got the mystical enlightenment. All right. So we go uses here. Just get, oh, wow, that gave us four. Perfect. All righty. So we're going to try the end first. Actually, I'm going to move this to right in front of the portal. Wow, it happened to be the correct block. That was a little crazy. And right where, right where the silverfish spawner used to be, we will put that. So now we can just come here super duper fast all the time we want. Okay. I think we can hit this guy one more time. Yeah, perfect. So now I just gotta hit him once more. Ah, geez, Louise. There we go. And we got the dust. Constantin dust. Cool. Ooh, we got a shulker box in there. Cool, cool. Okay. So we didn't manage to get another egg as well. Shulker charm. Maybe we'll farm shulkers as well. <laughs> But we did get a little bit of the Konzantan dust. So that's good. Um, one, two, three, four. And then what do we need in the middle again? 
Oh, it's a premium block. Okay. Alright, so Supremium block in the middle. Awakened Supremium block. Very good. Alright, it's done. Very cool. Okay. So, how now do we use that again? So we need to make these guys. Okay, so we can we can make one more of them. Which is good, but we do need to kill the Ender Dragon again, or the Wither for that regard. But now we have a couple of these, which is good. Okay, so... Okay, I need to hit uses. Okay, I'm gonna hit A on this so we can just come right back to it. Okay. So we need four of these. Because I wanna do my boots and my chest piece. And then we need four of these. Okay, I think I think that's it. So one, two, three, four. Okay. And I'll grab you, you, you. Um, let's see, we need air, we need as much as we can get. Earth, as much as we can get. We've got fire. Okay, so we have, I think everything that we need for this. Um, Earth essence. 40, oh, okay, so fire, water, and air. Okay, so one, two, and then three and four. Let me take our chest piece off. Oops, nope, put it here. Oh my gosh. Huh. No, we lost all of it. We got to redo the flight. Oh, no. I should have taken those off. Oh, man. That's a bummer. Okay. We know that for next time. Dang. Okay. So air, water, earth, and fire. Okay. So then we'll do this and this. And this and this. Okay. Before we put our boots there, I'm taking everything off. Dang, that's a bummer. That was a really good chest piece. Okay, so we're going to take the no fall damage off of our boots. And then I'm going to pull all of the enchantments off with this guy here. Okay, so now we just have Supremium Boots. Ah, dang, that's such a bummer. I can't believe we lost them. Okay, so now we have these guys, and I'm a little nervous putting them back with that thing. Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay, and the reason why I'm a little nervous putting them back, uh, I just go for levels. And uh, by the way, we have 1,500 levels saved up there. Um, the reason I, I just um, sometimes I, I put like looting five onto something onto the sword and it only came out as looting three, so kind of get a little nervous. And our anvil broke. Oh, look at that! It gives it gives us two, so now we can do haste on these guys. Very cool. Can we do something else? Oh yes. But I think this is the highest tier. I mean, we can put a gilding crystal. I don't even know what a gilding crystal does. <clears throat> nice. Okay. So even though we did lose 
our flight augment, which is a huge bummer. We've unlocked other ones. Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and make this. Believe it or not, I'm actually not super bummed about losing flight. It's the enchantments, because I took a while kind of building those. So it's just a bummer that we lost them, but I can easily get those back. Uh, the loot that we got from um, the other is crazy good, so we don't need to worry about it at all. And we have plenty of levels to enchant everything. So yes, okay, now we're gonna take this, we're gonna put this here, put that there. Now we have creative flight back, perfect, okay. But now what else do we wanna put on it? We we have, maybe we do health boost. Yeah, let's do health. Okay, so we're gonna work on the health boost for our chest piece right now. I'll put the enchants back on in just a second. But we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna work on the different tiers. And this should just be right in the middle, right? Yep. Okay, health boost one. And we're going up to five with this. So I'm excited to see how many hearts we'll have after that. That might be a little crazy. All right, so health tier one is done. Tier two, it's the exact same thing. So I'm gonna take those. Um, we just need four of each one. There we go, that was a little weird. All right, so here's the tier five health boost. Is there a thing beyond this? I don't believe so. So we're gonna go ahead and do here, is we're gonna take our chest piece off, put it here, put the chest piece in and put the health, health boost five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're into pink hearts. How many even is that? Oh my, that might be like 60 hearts, like 62. Oh my gosh, that is so many. Holy cow, guys, we are literally invincible right now. Oh my gosh, health boost five. I don't, could you put it on these? Whoa, man. Step assist, health boost. I wonder, is there like a speed augment? Okay, so I've decided for the rest of the episode, we're gonna be working on getting uh, Awakened Supremium pants and a helmet. The only reason why I wanted the pants is because they give us a 25% total speed boost. And that's what I really liked is just moving faster. Um, don't get me wrong, like instant health two is good at taking damage, uh, but like the helmet as well, like it was just a good helmet. So we're gonna go ahead and convert those over. We'll pull all the enchants off and then we'll convert them over to the Awakened Supremium. So, what that means for me is I need to go kill either a Wither or a Dragon. And we're gonna try the Wither this time. We're gonna try the Wither. Okay, so this is my Wither killing area and he's not much of a, a fight with the Morgan. However, we do have to kill him with this to get some, and we'll see. We got 10 from the Ender Dragon, so we'll see how we do it then now. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's kind of a chump. So I think we got six, which isn't bad because I feel like we can kill the Wither way faster than we can kill the Ender Dragon. So we're gonna do that one more time. And yeah, just goes to show you how powerful the Morgan is. We can two-shot this guy. All right, and there we go. So that gave us, yeah, six more. Okay, so you get six for killing the Wither and 10 for killing the Ender Dragon, which I feel like is totally fine. Uh, we got two Nether Stars out of it, but yes, so we got more of this, this stuff, which is what we wanted. All right, now we need the elemental essence. All right. Eight. 
All right, it's a premium block. All right, there we go. Whoops. We have our Awakened Supremium block, which gives us nine more of the Awakened Supremium Essence, which is awesome. This brings us up to a total of 11. I believe that's enough. Uh, if not, we can, we can make another block here pretty easily. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create this Supremium helmet and pants. It's very similar to the sword that we created, and I'll be back. Okay, so I just crafted up the two Supremium uh, armor pieces here. Um, so, yes, we need to have these grow faster to catch up, and these are good. Okay, I'm gonna grab two stacks of each, actually. That's too many stacks, two stacks of each. Perfect, okay, so we'll let these guys process. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have everything that we need in order to craft up the amazing res peas. All right. Um, so that goes here and then it goes one, two, three and four. There we go. So we're getting the awakened to premium leggings. There we go. We got those. Now it's time for the helmet. So one, two, Three, four, then we need fire, water, air, and earth. And there we go, Awaken Supremium Helmet. Boom, all right, so that's taken care of. Oh man. Okay, so we don't need these anymore. Um, or those, cool. So now we have both of these, I believe these are both indestructible. Um, so which one is better? So three, eight, three point, three point five. Okay. I don't know. I think that's knockback resistance. Um, yeah. So the warden one is way better, but all in all, the ability, because I think we can put a night vision upgrade too onto this. Oh, we need books. And then we can start doing the augments, which we're going to do in a second. Um, but I need books. Oh, so rebound. If they attack you, they get flung off. That makes sense. I remember seeing that. Okay, that is a good helmet, but it's just not as good as the other one. Okay. All right, anvil. Cool, so helmet, respiration three, unbreaking five. Hmm, rebounding, protection four. Ending, Aqua Affinity. Hmm. Rebounding should have never been on this guy. But now that's that's a really good helmet. Um, far better. Like that three versus eight. Like, yeah, this is going to protect us a lot more. Uh, and then the augment. This is why I kept these here because the speed boost, but we're gonna go ahead and make the speed boost for our leggings. Um, augment, where are you at? All right, so here we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. And then we can go. Wait. Oh, it needs to be the first tier. There we go. So yep, there's a speed one. 
And I don't think this works, but you might have to just reset it. It doesn't work automatically. Yeah, you do have to re-put it in, which is kind of a bummer. I wish it just like noticed that it was a speed two. So speed two, and then one, two, three, four. Whoops. Cool, so speed three is what we're gonna be getting here. Um, yeah, this is really going to be good for our pants. Uh, now there's no need for our armor to be all mismatched. So we go here, augment, we have two. So we can, in fact, put one on. Oh, man. Maybe we should have just made a tier two. <laughs> it's actually a little too fast for my liking. You guys might like it. I'm I'm not gonna be working with that at all. I think we'll actually just stick with the speed one. We'll try this out. If we don't like it, then we can always put it back. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. All right, so pants, take this off. Put the speed one on. Okay, that's good. That that doesn't feel too crazy. And so now we're gonna pull off all of the enchantments off of the pants. So mana regen. Um, hmm. Unbreaking, yes, protection, and mending. Okay. Take off the pants, put them here. So mana, no, we're gonna start off with protection, mending, unbreaking, rebound, and I guess we'll do that. Boom, okay, so that now has speed one, protection five, mending, unbreaking five, rebounding three, and mana regen four. So now the only thing we need to do is add more health boosts. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes working on those, and we'll be right back. All right, so the health boost 5 augment for our pants is now ready, so we can go ahead and throw these on. All right, boom, and then the health boost. And what are we at? I think... I think we're at max hearts then. <laughs> oh man, that's a waste of uh, augment. Uh, but this has no fall damage. And what is the other one that we have on here? No, we only have that one, okay. So we do have a free slot here, which is good. Uh, I wanna go ahead and we'll get rid of the health boosts. Uh, I wanna make a night vision augment, which is just the tier three essence. We'll get a couple more of those. Uh, and some golden carrots. Seven, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. So here, here, and there. Okay. All right. So night vision augment. And that's ready to rock. Okay. So we'll take off our helmet boom and put this on. So now we have night vision all the time. Very cool. And then water breathing. Uh, I believe we have a couple puffer fish. Yep. And it's that same tier essence as well. So this should mean we can breathe underwater and have no problems whatsoever, which is so cool. Water breathing augment, very cool. So no more having to worry about underwater. Yep, as you can see, our water bar is not going down whatsoever. So that's amazing. I guess there's one more thing we could put on our boots here. Um, we have flight. Wither, wither resistance we could do. Um, 
poison resistance. That's a good one. Okay, I'd actually like that. I don't know if that'll work, but we're gonna put it on our boots regardless. Okay, and then we need to go find some cows. Let's get some buckets of milk. Okay, uh, I've discovered this, which is really weird. I've never seen this before. It almost looks like an end city. But I think there are villagers here. Oh, Skyward City. Oh my gosh, he scared me. He actually scared me. I did not realize there'd be villagers in here. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I'm still looking for a cow. I can't find them. They're difficult to find sometimes. We're gonna do something fun instead with this cooking pot. Uh, do I have any clay? Oh, I got lots of clay. Okay, seems since I came back, there's a little bit of lag for some reason. Uh, bricks, and then we need a stone spoon. Oh, that's a wooden spoon. Okay, cooking. Needs heat from below. Okay, so this is from Farmer's Delight. So let's see what they have. Bum, ba -dum, ba -ba -ba -bum. So maybe a stove. Maybe a stove. That could be it. Yes, that was it. Okay. So we put the buckets here. I think we have some acorns. We do. Okay. So we can put those and sugar and water in there and we get it. So, sugar, sugar, we're going down swinging. Okay. So four of those, so boom, boom, and boom. Yep, we are making milk. This is crazy, okay, we just made it. We don't need cows. Who needs cows? Look at that. Quest completed. That's because we're legit. I found a couple of things while I was out. We'll work on those later. All right, we got more milk. Put more water in. This is perfect. We don't have to go exploring. And if I wanted to. <laughs> it's a little overpowered. But anyway, let's make... Oh my gosh, this looks terrible with the night vision. We'll get used to it. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And then the augment. Poison resistance. We're gonna put this on our pants. <laughs> that, sound, that sounded funny to me in my head. We're gonna put this on our pants. Whoa. Speed and health boost. So because we're not getting any health boost from that, we're just going to put that there. Wait a second. I think we were supposed to put that on our boots. Yeah, we're supposed to put this on our boots. Okay. So now we have poison resistance, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we are very overpowered and blind because it's so freaking bright out. I I think I'm gonna remove this. Night vision. Yeah, I don't really care for it. But all right, dudes and dudettes, we're gonna wrap up the episode for today. Guys, we have full awakened Supremium armor. Is there anything better than this armor? Please let me know down in the comment section what you think. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you all next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.